What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Code Peterson tutorial with some more GB Studios. It has been a spell, and I apologize. This life's gotten busy, work's been busy, just having a million things going on, and haven't really had time to create any tutorials on here lately or play with GB Studio as much as I've wanted to. Things are starting to slow down. I thought, let's go back to the list of requests that I've had. Uh, for new tutorial ideas and one of them was a great one and it was how do we make our game boy games color because all the examples i've been using have been the original game boy palette and that's just kind of because that's was my first game boy it's kind of nostalgic to me but that is a great question how can we do that and does that mean we have to recreate all of our sprites for a game uh, that we made before not necessarily it's actually pretty easy so I just opened up a former tutorial from the halfway mark tutorial I made earlier. And uh, I'm so I'm not recreating any of my sprites for this. And I'm going to show you how I could go through the process of making this into a game for like the Game Boy Color or just a game that where you want it to be more than just shades of green. Uh, the first thing that I do here is if you just kind of click out here in No Man's Land. And you have this information showing up on your on your panel here on the right hand side. One of the things on here says enable color mode. Now you can also get to that in this drop down menu over here. It's always easy to forget. You can go to your settings or you can find palettes that are in there. Uh, but when I'm getting started, I can just select enable color mode. And then you can see what happens like it automatically changes it. So if I'm going to play the game the first time, I'll just click play here to show you. This is our regular Game Boy color on here and just that old school shades of green. But if I go to color mode and I try this out, it changes it into a color mode. So we don't, even though, you know, I, I created that the way, and if you haven't seen me make image sprites before, I do have some tutorials on my channel for that. Check those out all under the GB Studio playlist. Uh, so even though those are all green, it automatically changes those colors here with that particular color palette. Now, if you want to modify that even further, you can go here into more settings. And then you can actually, you can see in here, you have eight different palettes on here for your background. So you can have separate color palettes for your background as compared to your image sprite is kind of cool and you can have eight different versions on here for your background palettes you'll notice up here on color mode it's monochrome it takes them all away uh, if you go to color plus monochrome that's what it does when you select that color box uh, that we did on the other screen and then you can also go to color only so if you don't want it to have the option of the game boy colors and then it says here, allows your game to run on color devices only. And it increases the amount of tiles available in each scene for displaying backgrounds and sprites, which can be helpful in your development process to be trying to do. Uh, so I'm going to leave mine on color only. And then you can see we got our default, we got the greens, and then we have these different uh, palettes that are in there. And you may be thinking, man, that's not many choices is there a way where we can modify those well absolutely because down here where it says edit palettes you can click on that and in these four colors on any of these palettes so this is the bg1 this is the bg2 you can select whichever one you want to modify here on the left hand side and then you can change the rgb value change the hue saturation and brightness and get a variety of different colors that you could use for that. And then when you have those changed, or if you, whenever you're done in the screen, just go back up here to this drop down menu and go back to Game World, and it takes us in. Uh, so we can then click in this scene one, and we have all of our palettes showing up here. The, the top ones are for background. The bottom ones, which it's just, just the same one repeated, is for the sprites. So then in here, I could actually say, you know what? I want the background uh, to maybe be this particular one over here. So I'll select that. 
I go over to my default here and then I find it on here and I'll select that. And then maybe I want to change my sprite to be this green color palette. Now I'll push play. And then you can see where it changes all of those colors based on the palette we selected. That's kind of cool. Now, you might be thinking that still kind of limits us to what we can do. You know, so that that's one way you can change this. Uh, when you are changing those palettes, you know, maybe you're not going to get quite the color that you want from one palette. Maybe there's another color and another one that, that you could use differently. And all of these palettes, you have like the lightest color, you have the darkest color, then you have the two in-between colors. And that's what it's matching them with. So what I could do, if I undo those changes that I just made, I can actually go over here to my brush tool and choose this, this square right here. And then I could maybe say that I want the sky to be blue. Now on this one here, the lightest color, because the lightest color on this map is my sky. The lightest color in this particular palette is a blue. Makes sense that I would want that uh, to be in the the color of the sky. So then I would select that right here where that blue is, where it's the lightest color. And then I can just use my brush tool. And you can choose individually what colors that you want different areas to be. So now I have the sky changed to that color. Now maybe I want the ground to be green, like regular green. And I keep going over here to select it on our background palettes with this when I actually need to be selecting it up here. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then for the palette, for the image sprite, for our character, I might want to change that to a different color. Uh, so I'll select in this area and I'll go back to more settings. Then I'll go to edit palettes. I find my default sprite. Maybe I want my character kind of more of a purple color, light purple. I still want it to be light because if it gets too dark, then it'll shift these around on me, I think. So don't want that to happen. So I want it to be purple, but I also want it to be the lightest color. And then maybe over here for the darkest. And I'm not going to worry about the other colors in there, but if I were taking my time on this, I obviously would. And I can go back over here, game world. Now I will do my demo and see how this looks. And so now I have my character here with the halfway mark. If I fall through, and we have our blue sky, we have the green ground, and then I have my purple character allowing me to use multiple color palettes. Uh, and you can see, like, if I wanted, I could even further divide these up into different colors. I just was kind of doing that to make it a fast demonstration. But you can kind of play around with those and see what kind of combinations you get to make your uh, game have some more color to it. So hopefully that helps out. Let me know in the comments below if that's what you're looking for. And I sure hope that we catch on another video in the not-too-distant future.